everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Kristen, I'm a lifestyle vlogger, mom of two, and I have a grocery haul for you guys. Um, I spent $379 on groceries. These prices are getting insane. Let me know in the comments how you guys are faring because I know you're in the same boat with me. I'm really getting to the point where I'm like, like I've always been raised to try to buy a little extra to stockpile so that if you ever get to a place where like you just can't get groceries you have something on hand and it's happened to us in the past we had one instance uh, when we were newly married where bad weather hit um, and we had no groceries in the trailer because we just didn't think to buy like we had very little and um we weren't able to get out of the house for like almost a week and i threw together like the world's weirdest vegetable soup like full of just random cans of vegetables and that's what we ate for almost four days because we couldn't get out because of the snow um like <laughs> we just didn't have anything after that i really took heed in everything my parents and grandparents always told me about stockpiling and since then there's been times where um unexpected bills come in and things like that where like we just can't get groceries and so we've always had a stockpile on hand but now i'm getting to the point where it's like do i keep buying a little extra or do I stop doing that, just get what we need, and try to live off of what we have? However, what we have will quickly run out. And the reason we'd be going through what we have on hand is because of pricing, not because we had a weather issue or financial issue. And then as soon as things are fixed, we can go back to getting more. Like, once, once we use it, it's gone. And the pricing is getting to the point where it's like, I can't continue to buy extra, but also... Once we'll, we use up what we have, that nice little cushion we have, it's going to be gone and I'm not going to be able to replace it. So I don't really know exactly what I should be doing when it comes to the amount of groceries I'm buying. But the money we're spending, like, I can't keep doing $3.79 on groceries. I don't know very many people who can. Like, it's getting to the point where it's... <sighs> Like we had to go take money out of our emergency savings account to help cover the amount I spent on groceries. And I didn't even feel like I spent, like as far as what I bought, I didn't feel like it should have been that much money. And it was. So I don't really know what we're going to be doing. Um, but in this video, we're doing a grocery haul. So let me turn you around and we'll get started. Okay, here's our first little batch here. Um, I do have five ears of corn down here we're having a little cookout with family tomorrow uh our parents are coming my husband's parents and my parents so ears of corn to go on the grill those have gone up in price in my area corn is normally like 39 ish cents and now they were like 69 so those have gone up uh, i did buy some meds this whole thing going on with china and their lockdown they keep saying we're going to end up having shortages here in the u.s more so than what we've been seeing and a big part of that shortage is going to be in medication um over the counter and also prescription because i guess the raw goods for the meds that we take come from china so and i already noticed today i already noticed today like most of what was on the shelf and available was name brand like i had to search and scour and i got lucky um to get the equate things that i got a lot of it was shoved in the very back of the shelf and I had to like squat in weird positions and dig back there. Um, and I got lucky and it was it was still available. But like we're talking like I got the last of the Equate Sudafed and the last of the cold and flu and the last of the daytime liquid medication. Like it's just not available unless you want to buy name brand. And name brand is so expensive, like just adding to the budget. So what I ended up picking up was Sudafed. I am trying to stockpile our meds. I use that term lightly um, because we did recently have sickness come through the house probably about a month or so ago and then we got hit, my husband and I, with allergies. Um, so we used up all of our Sudafed. So I bought three things of Sudafed and I think this is the, the rest of what they have in the store. We might find some other, we might find a few more floating around. I think I bought three, I might have bought four. Um, so we might find some more in some other bags, but I think that was all that I got. I, I cleared them out of the Sudafed from the Equate brand. Um, and then heart conditions run in my family. I do take um, fish oil on a daily basis. Um, my dad has a heart defect. We think my grandpa probably had the same heart defect. Um, so the doc, my dad's doctor said um, there's reason to believe I probably also have it. We wouldn't know unless I did a scan and that's expensive. 
So instead I'm just trying to take care of my heart. <laughs> but if I ever felt like I like was having a heart attack, um, aspirin, bare aspirin is what you're supposed to take for that. Uh, normally we use Tylenol, but I went ahead and got the Equate version of aspirin. And they had plenty of painkillers. This they had plenty in stock, but like cold meds, they were limited. Um, so anyways, I thought it was about time I got one of these in the cabinet to keep on hand just in case I ever needed it. Uh, this was the only cold and flu they had that was all daytime. Everything else was daytime and nighttime. And nighttime, we don't really like to take because it leaves us feeling drowsy, even when they say it doesn't. Uh, so this was the only one from the Equate that they had. Everything else was, the other Equates, like I said, were daytime, nighttime, um, and everything else was name brand. And then this, I forget what it was compared to, but it's the kind we don't normally take. Um, no, compared to Dayquil. We take Dayquil. Okay, that was just in a different, I found it in a different spot than the other day quill. So I thought I was thinking it was compared to something else. Um, I got two of these. There's one and there's two. Um, and then some ashwagandha. We have been taking the, uh, turn me around. We have been taking the golly for my husband and my son. Um, but we're bad out of that. And it's like $20 for one of these at Sam's Club. However, for a smaller bottle of this over at Walmart was $18. So either this has gone up or Walmart or Sam's Club is just the place to get this one. Um, but I went ahead and bought these instead. They'll do the same. They just don't taste as good going down. So um, it helps with uh, stress, anxiety, and it boosts cortisol levels in your brain. It really, really helps if you have stress, anxiety. And my oldest boy has ADHD and this also helps him. Not so much with the focusing of things um, and he's still hyper, but it helps him with his outbursts and his aggression. So uh, something to be mindful of. Um, however, recommended for my son's doctor, don't mix this with the ADHD medication. So if this is something you're thinking about getting for a kiddo in your life who has ADHD, um, talk to the doctor first. So I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, I needed some foot cream. I haven't had some in a while and my feet are looking crusty. I got four cans of spaghetti sauce. One of them will show up in another bag. Um, these from Hunt's are like, like right at a dollar. They taste really good. Um, the only downside is that if you don't use all of it, you gotta put it in a storage container to save for later. But other spaghetti sauces are like well over a dollar at this point and I'm just not spending that much on spaghetti sauce. Uh, SpaghettiOs, I finally found some that are um, off brand without meatballs, <laughs> which are the kind my kids will eat. The only kind for like months that I've been able to find have been name brand SpaghettiOs. Um, and that's just getting pricey. So we found a little dinosaur on Clarence at Walmart that Ira really wanted. Uh, I got a giant citronella candle to go outside. We spent so much time outside and last year we got eight with bugs. So I got this to sit outside on the table, um, to help keep mosquitoes away. Green beans for the cookout that we're doing up tomorrow. A little sandwich for me for lunch. And then I got chips, uh, for the cookout tomorrow. So we've got some restaurant style tortilla chips, and I got the great value wavy original, lettuce, fish sticks, and then I'm planting a garden this year, and I'm gonna need a watering can because my garden hose is actually on the other side of the house, so it really sucks, but that's just how it worked out. Okay, here's a look at our next batch of goodies here. Um, the Takis were in the last batch, and I forgot to go over them. We don't really like Takis ourselves, but the neighbor girl, one of Levi's best friends, loves Takis. She was asking her mom for some yesterday, and it's between pay weeks for them, so she can't go get her kid Takis, um, which, like, I get that. <laughs> when it's off pay for us, like, we're not going anywhere either. So I went ahead and picked her up a pack of Takis while I was at the store. Um, carrots, some toothpaste. I said they, ha they have an enamel restore, which I thought would be good to try. Uh, two things of ground pork. It's pork sausage. Um, I guess it has spices added. We use it in substitute of ground beef a lot of the time, and it does exactly the same thing. Um, and it's like two or three dollars. I think it's like two fifty, two eighty per pound. So it's, it really does substitute for ground beef. Um, if you can't if you can't pay the ground beef prices, um, turkey sausage or ground turkey, sorry, um, is also a good substitute as well. Bananas, these are super green, but they will ripen up, so they'll be fine. Two things of brown rice. Normally, I get the brown rice that comes in the box. It's got a hole in it, so it's ripping. Um, the box of rice is exactly two pounds. 
and it's twice the price. It was like over three dollars. So instead of spending three dollars, it was like three ninety eight. Um, so I'm spending that on the box of minute rice. I just got two bags for the same price. So now I have four pounds for three something. It was these were like a dollar forty or dollar fifty. So let's say I spent three bucks, right, on four pounds of brown rice. It's way better than buying in the box in the box. I just have to have a jar to put them in. So um, I have started keeping jars from different food items. For example, this right here was from pineapple. It's a glass jar from some pineapple spears we had. These are delicious, but they're super expensive, like $6 for a jar of pineapple. Um, I'm gonna wash this jar out and then I might put the rice in here if it's big enough. But I've got a few other glass jars I've been hoarding back just in case I need a glass jar. <laughs> like these ones I'm trying to grow some stuff in. So those are salsa jars. Just something to think about, keeping keeping jars back if you need them. Um, I think half the thing with these is if you buy it in the box, you're paying like for the convenience of a box to store it in versus these flimsy packages that are ripping. So something to think about. Uh, we needed some more dental floss. I like this better than like the floss that comes in like the big string. Probably not better for the environment, but I feel like I have a better time using this. Uh, water flavoring for the husband, so that one's Kool-Aid. Two bags of apples. These are the cheapest ones I could find, and I was surprised because they're really big apples. Um, even some of their smaller apples that were like Gala or whatever, these are Pink Lady, were like small, but they went at like $45 a bag. These were just shy of $4 a bag. It wasn't like a drastic price difference. We're talking pennies, but I was like, for the size of the apple and I'm saving like two or three pennies a bag, I'm gonna take these ones. So we got that. Um, for my garden this year, I got some for spaghetti squash. Uh, I was gonna do some Black Eyed Susans. These grew in the yard that I grew up in as a kid and I always loved them. They were so pretty. So I'm gonna put those out as well. Um, yellow squash, love some yellow squash. Got a watermelon, we'll see how well that takes. Uh, cucumbers. Got some big tomatoes. I figure my plan here is grow a bunch of tomatoes and then I just make my own spaghetti sauce. Um, we've got some dill because I'm gonna need that for the pickles when I make cucumbers. Or, I'm gonna need those for the cucumbers when I make pickles. <laughs> And green beans. We just enjoy green beans in general, but my neighbor who gardens all the time mentioned last year that um, the beans, you plant them towards the end of the season and they help to like replenish your garden like it's nutrients, like they add something back to the soil. So got those as well. Cheese. Got some string cheese here. My oldest boy likes, my oldest boy likes taking these with him for his lunches. Uh, we got a bag of shredded cheese. And we've got two Colby Jack cheeses. I was only gonna get one, but my husband said he wants to try doing grilled cheese like on the barbecue grill for the boys tomorrow. So I bought some extra in case anybody else wants grilled cheese sandwiches. And then I bought two things of the Kraft Singles because we've been using this quite a bit. And then two loaves of um, bread. Bread has gone up in price. These used to be a dollar a loaf. So I used to buy four loaves and they'd last us uh, until grocery time. Sometimes we'd have extra. Sometimes we'd like just be finishing off our fourth loaf. It just kind of varied. But they're up. I can't remember if it was like a dollar forty-eight or a dollar eighty-four. But I'm not spending that much on bread. So this is what I bought. If we use it all up, then I guess I'm gonna get out the flour and make my own. So <laughs> there's that. Okay, next batch here. I'm gonna leave the talkie set so I don't lose them. We have that last can of spaghetti sauce, and also the rest of the uh, SpaghettiOs right here. Two things of mushrooms to go on the steaks tonight. We're gonna have to go to town and pick those up. My husband wanted to pick out the steaks, so we haven't got those yet. Meatballs. I got four things of Classic Ranch um, mix. Uh, doing this on top of potatoes is really delicious. So I'm gonna do a branch covered potatoes and green beans for dinner tomorrow to go with our steak. So that'll leave me three more to work with later. And the, um, why I bought so many, the Great Value brand is obviously cheaper. I think it was like 48 cents a pack. The name brand is like over a dollar. So, and every time I go looking for these, I haven't been able to find them in Great Value. So when they had them in, I went ahead and bought four. Broccoli, I bought some extra to put back. We got two bags here and a bag of corn. I couldn't remember if we had any more frozen corn in the fridge or not. One more thing of shredded cheese. There will be two of these shrimps. 
Okay, sorry. My youngest is watching Puppy Dog Pals, and I'm sure you guys can hear it. But he's at the table right now eating lunch with his iPad. So, <laughs> so yeah, we got two of these shrimp to go with our steaks tonight. Um, two pizza lunchables for Ira. He's my youngest, like I've said before. The two of them here will fill him up. And then my oldest needs one with the three pack. And then I got myself a raspberry plant. So we're going to get that started somewhere. I'm not sure I'm going to plant it at yet. But looking forward to having nice fresh, fresh raspberries. Okay, so here we go again. <laughs> um... Got myself some collagen tablets. Whoa, we're not focusing. Hello. Okay. Uh, I've been wanting to try some collagen. See how that works. These weren't too expensive. They're like $7 for a bottle. So, not bad. Um, cold meds for the kids to put back. Which, they were also picked over. <laughs> I mean, as you can tell, this box is completely busted. Um, they didn't have very many of these. I was going to go to Aldi as well and pick up some of their wine. They had a peach wine I got a couple weeks ago that was delicious. My friends and I sat out in the yard and we were day drinking at 11 a.m. while the children played. <laughs> it was great. And there's the Clear America water. We had the peach flavoring and it paired really well with the peach wine. The wine had a bit of a woody flavor, but when you put it with the water as a chaser, it made the wine bubbly and it took, took care of that like woody flavor. So we we're out there drinking that and I thought, okay, I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to go back to Aldi and I'm going to get like their pina colada wine that they have. Or maybe it was a pineapple. I can't remember. And then I just like the cherry vanilla. So I just got that because I like it, but, um, didn't end up going over to Aldi because I just was so upset with how much money I already had to spend that I just didn't want to go spend any more. So we'll probably just drink that as regular, uh, Wales. I could not find any great value brand Cheez-Its. Uh, which is normally what I like to buy. And the kids love goldfish, but goldfish are so expensive. The whales were, I think, right about right about $2, maybe $1.58. So the kids really like the whales. So they're a good substitute for like goldfish, cheese, that kind of a thing. If you can't get a great value. Uh, mayonnaise, just about, just needed some. Uh, I bought some lettuce. So salad toppings for salads. Nan bread so the kids can do up their own little pizzas. This comes in a pack of 12, so we'll see how well they like those. And then I also went ahead and bought them Lunchables, so each got two this time. These are for my oldest boy. They come in um, three in them. Pack of yogurt. Uh, they didn't have any of the boy yogurt, so hopefully my oldest will eat this and not throw a fit, but we'll see. And then we've got some more seeds. We've got lettuce and pumpkins. We've got some more water flavoring. A big old loaf of bread. I thought we could do a pizza one night. We've got some leftover pepperoni that needs used up. Two more bags of chips for our cookouts. We have cheddar and sour cream. We also have barbecue. Okay, here's our last batch of goodies. We've got two pull-ups for the toddler. Pack of popsicles for the summer. We've got chicken nuggets for the kiddos. And some smoked sausages. They're just nice to have on hand. Um, they also had these on clearance. My oldest is in love with Minecraft. So he doesn't have he has like one minecraft toy so got him that we'll see what he ended up with inside not here on camera but you know when he gets home from school um some uh zucchini to plant out in the garden uh here's my last two bags of shrimp two boxes of macaroni and cheese um walmart had great value the cheapies on hand these were like 42 cents a box aldi last time i was there did not have these at all so we were getting low on our macaroni and cheese um, shout carpet cleaner. We really needed some of this. I was out and we have a clog in the shower drain. So I needed that as well. Then down here, we've got food for the dog. I've got some seven spray for the garden that should hopefully last me all summer. And then a small box of wipes for the children. Okay guys, that is everything for my video. My nice stash of Walmart bags I gotta do something with now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Strawberry plants behind me, in case you're wondering. Um, come hang out with me in the comments below. Let me know how you guys are holding up against all these prices. They're just getting insane. Um, it's a mess. Uh, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I just appreciate the engagement. Come check out my channel if you're new. So if there's anything else you'd like to watch, I'd love to hang out with you here on the internets. And... Hit subscribe and hope to see you guys in my next video.